Hi, this is Dory, and I'm Mena. We travel with our lovely dog Fiona to discover the most beautiful locations, and our goal is to share with you what it's like to live as a nomad. So thanks for following, and welcome to our channel. Greetings fellow travelers. Our journey continues as we left Sintra and made our way to the picturesque town of Ovidosh. Known for its rich history, famous castle, and the iconic local drink, Jinjinya. Ovidosh was a must visit destination on our trip. We were lucky to find a fantastic Airbnb in Obidosh, just three kilometers away from the castle. The apartment was spacious with three bedrooms, a well-equipped kitchen, and two bathrooms. It was the perfect base for our stay, although it didn't have a washing machine. Obidosh Castle was a highlight of our visit. This well-preserved medieval fortress offered stunning views of the surrounding countryside. We were captivated by the history and charm of this place as we wandered through its narrow cobblestone streets, admiring the ancient walls and buildings. Hey guys, so this is Castel Obidosh, and literally our Airbnb is about three kilometers from here. Castello Bidoge is special. There's a city inside these walls. And people still live there, work there, you know, and they do their thing. So you could actually walk all along the wall or inside the city. It's also free to enter. And uh, well, I think they're also open at night. But I wouldn't walk around the walls at night because, you know, and there's no railing. Yeah, so it's a little dangerous. So if you come, come during daytime. And again, I mean, you could shop. There's tons of restaurants and some great exercise. And if I remember correctly, I think it's June or July, you do have a medieval festival over here. So that could be really, really interesting if you're around Ubidosh around this time. No visit to Obidosh would be complete without trying Jinjinya, the famous local drink. We indulged in this sweet cherry liqueur at a local tavern, savoring its unique flavor and learning about its significance in Obidosh's culture. It was a delightful and memorable experience. Obidosh is such a magic little town. There's tons to do. Tons of restaurants, shopping, you even have a lot of Airbnbs if you want to live inside the town like the locals. Admire the white walls, the beautiful flowers, and so many little churches, including this beautiful library. During our stay in Obidosh, we also took day trips to nearby destinations since we were staying at the Airbnb for five days. São Martinho do Porto, with its tranquil bay, is a perfect spot for relaxing by the sea. The town's main attraction is the standing horseshoe-shaped bay, which offers calm and clear waters perfect for swimming and other water sports. 
Along the beach, there's a wide promenade that is perfect for a leisure stroll or bike ride, with plenty of cafes, bars and restaurants to stop along the way. The town has a rich culture heritage, with historic buildings such as the Church of San Martinho and the Chapel of Nossa Senhora de Conceição, as well as a variety of festivals and events throughout the year. Location San Martinho do Porto is located in the art of Portugal's Silver Coast, making a great base for exploring art in nearby destinations such as Nazaré, Alcabaça, and Obidos. We also visited Peniche. Peniche is a coastal town in central Portugal, known for its beautiful beaches, rich history, and vibrant fishing industry. Peniche has a long history of fishing town, and the local fishing industry remains an important part of the local economy. Visitors can see the colorful fishing boats in the harbor and sample some of the delicious fresh seafood in town's restaurant. And Nazare, with its famous big waves, was a thrill to witness. We enjoyed the local beaches and the stunning coastal scenery. Nazare was a quiet little town until this crazy dude decided to surf one of the biggest waves in the world. This little town became very popular with tourists and you'll be able to find many of the traditional foods, including some amazing desserts and nuts. And after all this walking and eating, you definitely want to go for a nice swim. Well, you're in luck. There's a couple of beaches in Nazare. They have the Playa Norte, the one that's famous for the big waves, and, you know, the regular one for the regular folks, just like us. If you're there to watch the big waves, keep in mind they're only there during the winter. In summer days, you won't see much action. Overall, Nazare was great. There's so many great activities to do. We did skip on a few because we were traveling with people and it involves a little bit of walking. Obidosh had a convenient grocery store nearby where we could stock up on supplies for our stay. We loved strolling around town, soaking in its medieval charm, and savoring the tranquil ambiance. It was truly a magical place. And that wraps up our time in Obidosh. We hope you enjoyed this video and got a glimpse of the historic castle, the famous Jinjinya drink, and the beautiful surroundings of the enchanting town. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for joining us on this trip. And until the next time, happy travels. So I hope you guys liked this video in the Obidos area. I hope it was informative and you had fun. We certainly did. It was awesome. And uh, yeah, hopefully we get to come back another time. Till then, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning in a new video.